a point three perimeter and area. The perimeter p of two dimensional figures is the sum of the lengths of the side of the figure. The area is the measure of the region within the boundaries of the figure. So we know perimeter. You don't have to pay attention to any of those formulas. They're just easier to use those formulas if you can remember them. But perimeter, you add up everything on the outside. And then what you do need to remember is the area formulas because area is finding uh, what can you put on the inside. So the formulas are different. All right, example one. Rob wishes to replace the grass sod on a lacrosse field. One pallet of Bethel Farm sod costs $360 and covers 480 square feet. If the area to be covered is a rectangle with a length of 360 feet and a width of 228 feet, determine the area to be covered with sod, determine uh, how many pallets of sod Rob needs to purchase, and determine the cost of the sod purchased. So it tells us we have a rectangular field and the dimensions are 360 feet by 228 feet. So since we have a rectangle, we need to find the area that's going to be covered. That's area equals length times width, or area equals base times height. It's the same thing. So for part A, area equals length times width, which is 360 feet times 228 feet, and we get 2,080 feet squared. Re remember, because feet is square, or um, area is squared. So that's the total area that needs to be covered, just under 2,100 square feet. All right, part B. Determine how many pallets of sod Rob needs to purchase. So it tells us that we have the area covered, which we need, so area covered. And then we need to know how much comes on a pallet. So area covered with one pallet. So the area that uh, needs to be covered Please forgive me, that is supposed to be 82,080. I don't know why it said 2,000. It's 82,000. 360 times 228 is a big number. So the area needed to be covered is 82,000 and 80 square feet. And then it tells us that per pallet, it covers 480 square feet. So 480 square feet and then we are left with 171. That means Rob needs 171 pallets. So in order to cover the entire field, he needs 171 pallets. So how much is that gonna cost him? So part C, determine the cost of the sod purchased. So we need 171 pallets. A pallet costs $360. So in order to determine the cost, we multiply how many pallets we need by the cost. So 360 times 171, and we get $61,560. Whew, that is expensive. All right, so something that we should all be very, very familiar with and tired of hearing about is the Pythagorean theorem. So the sum of the squares of the length of the legs of a right triangle equal the square of the length of the hypotenuse, meaning leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Symbolically, if A and B represents the legs, uh, and C represents the leg of the hypotenuse, the side opposite of the right angle, then we also say A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So a big important thing from here is that the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle. So the hypotenuse is always the side directly across the right angle. 
The moat surrounding a castle is 18 feet wide, and the wall by the moat of the castle is 24 feet high. There's a figure there. If an invading army wishes to use a ladder to cross the moat and reach the top of the wall, how long must the ladder be? So, we know we're working with the triangle, and we're trying to find a missing side. We're trying to find how long the ladder should be. So, we know we're going to be working with leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So, the right angle is right here. That's the right angle. So directly across from that is the hypotenuse. That means we're trying to find the hypotenuse. We don't know it, so we say it's c squared. The legs don't matter. They're all interchangeable. So 18 squared plus 24 squared equals c squared. So we do 18 squared, which is 324, plus 24 squared, which is 576, and that equals c squared. We combine like terms, so we have 900 equals c squared. To get rid of the squared, we square root because that's the opposite. So we get 30 equals c. So the latter must be 30 feet long. That's a really long ladder. All right, circles. A circle is a set of points equidistant from a fixed point called the center. A radius r of a circle is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. A diameter d of a circle is a line segment through the center of the circle with both ends point uh, end points on the circle. The circumference I don't have it on here, but you know the circumference is all the way around. The circumference is the length of the simple uh, closed curves that form the circle. So to find the circumference, it's 2 pi r, and to find the area, so circumference is the same thing as the perimeter, uh, to find the area, it's pi r squared. So determine the shaded region, use the pi key on your calculator and round your answers to the nearest hundredth. So we want to find the shaded region. What area is that? So we have two shapes. We have the area of the parallelogram. And then we need to subtract that from the area of the circle. Because if we find the area of the circle, that's how much we're taking out of the blue. So we can figure out what that is. So area of the parallelogram is area equals base times height. And we're going to subtract that from area of a circle, which is pi r squared. So we need to know the base and the height of this parallelogram. So if we continue this on, that is another two feet. So the whole thing is four feet. That means the height of this right here is four feet. So that's what we're gonna use for our height. And then the base is 10 feet. So we have area equals 10 times four, which is 40. We still need to subtract that from the area of the circle. So area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. So area equals pi times r, which is 2 squared. So that comes out to 4 pi. And then you plug that into your calculator, and you get area is approximately 12.57. Now we subtract the two numbers to get the area of the shaded region is 27.43 feet squared. All right, the next question is just a simple conversion question. It, we're going to set it up as a proportion. So 1 squared yard equals 9 feet squared. Use this information to convert 25.5 yards to square feet. So it tells us that 1 square yard is 9 feet squared. Now we want to know 25.5 square yards, what is, does that equal? So we have 1 over 
So we have 1 over 25.5 equals 9 over x. We cross multiply to get x equals 229.5 feet squared. Nancy just purchased a new house that is in need of renovations. Use the measurements given on the floor plan to the right to the answer the following question. The cost of ceramic tile is 10.49 per square foot. This price includes the cost of installation. Determine the cost for Nancy to have the installed in the kitchen and both bathrooms. So we want to know the cost to do both bathrooms and her kitchen. So we need to know the area of one of the bathrooms, well, both of them, the first one, the area of the second one, and then the area of the kitchen. Sorry, my dog is barking at me because he wants it in my room. He's a puppy and cannot stand that I am away from him. So the first area of the bath, let's just do the 8 by 16. So it's 8 times... 16 and we get 128 square feet the other bathroom is 8 by 10 so that is 80 square feet and then the kitchen is 14 by 16 and that equals 224 feet squared so if we want to do all three of those rooms, we need to know if what's the area of all three of them together. So 128 plus 80 plus 224, and we get 432 square feet. So that's the total we're working with. We want to cover in total three rooms that equals 432 square feet. So the cost of it is area times price. So 432 times the price, which is $10.49, and we get $4,531.68. That sounds about right. Just in case if you didn't know, that's about how much it costs. It's very expensive to tile new floors. Well, ceramic tiles, those are the fancy ones.